Hey, Chip Foos here at Foos Design, and today I want to draw a car that you may not be familiar with. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these, but the Beetle. This is like the German 32 Ford. Now, if I'm going to do something with this, I'm going to tear it up because there were so many of these that were produced and so readily available now at a very decent price. I want to cut this thing up and have some fun with it. So let's do this. So I'm going to keep the deck lid or the hood, but I'm going to alter almost everything else about this vehicle. I'll keep the doors, I'll keep the rear quarters, but I'm going to end up cutting the top off of it and building a Roadster similar to a 32 Ford. You know, it's not just the numbers and how many of these were built that make it a fun vehicle to cut it up. It's the fact that they are readily available and they are a cool shape to start with. And you can do some really fun things with those shapes, which is what I'm doing here. Got a basic line drawing here. We've got a little Volkswagen hot rod. Now I'm gonna throw a little bit of color on this. I'm probably gonna keep it just black and white and keep it simple. So it's just an ideation sketch. You may notice the different sketch technique. It's very loose because this is just ideation. It's what if. Most of the sketches that I do on this form are based on shapes that we know. And what I'm doing right now is I'm creating a lot of shapes. So it's things that don't exist. And this is just getting an idea for what could be possibly done with a Volkswagen. So the loose ideation sketch is much easier to imagine what it could be. If it were to grow into something more than just the sketch, this would be where we would base our plan from. I'm just letting my imagination run wild right now.
There's always purists out there that get upset for cutting something up. But if you're going to cut up a Volkswagen, there's still another 21 and a half million Volkswagens out there that were produced. That's why I would build something like this. I wouldn't want something that 21 and a half million other people have. I'm going to go ahead and cut mine up. I'm going to use the hood. I'm going to use the door skin. I'm going to use the quarters and I'll use the deck lid. But the rest of it is pretty much fabricated. Build a chassis. You know, I've got some wastegates here because I might even put the motor up front and run a drive shaft all the way to the rear. I want to do something that makes it uniquely Chip Foose's Volkswagen. I'm going to build a set of one-off wheels and some really cool suspension. I'm going to bring a, a hot rod type headlight, but maybe I'm using the ring and the lens from Volkswagen to put in front of it. You want to find those pieces that make it uniquely Volkswagen DNA to bring it into this vehicle. When you look at the way these cars were manufactured and engineered, it's not that far off from the likes of a 32 Ford. The pieces come off easily, you can strip it down, you can get into this car and start modifying it without a whole lot of work. Just get down to the basics and build back up. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode and we'd like to thank Pep Boys for sponsoring this Haggerty Show and helping car lovers go further since 1921. You know, the greatest thing about customizing a car is there are no laws or rules that keep you constrained. You can do whatever you want. And if I was gonna cut up and customize a Volkswagen, this is what I'd wanna do.